What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing an art video. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat, it's because my hair is not that great today. <laughs> but anyways, I figured I would show you guys my process of how I go about doing a painting. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And later I might go to the park, although the weather was saying that it's supposed to rain. Hold on, let me check. So there's supposed to be a thunderstorm later today. And I see some clouds in the distance, so most likely that might not be happening. But anyways, today we're going to be doing an art video. I love those. So today I'm just going to take you guys along my process of how I go about doing a painting, which is not that complicated, but I will show you guys any. <coughs> so to start off, here are my materials. This is my art space, which is kind of small. These are my primary materials, not the lens cap. That was for my camera, I'm just not that organized, so bear with me. So yeah, I have my palette, which I just use a plate because it's cheap and I'm a student and I don't have money to spend on expensive equipment or materials. So I just use a regular porcelain palette. I have my paints here. And then I also picked up this flower palette, which is also porcelain, which is like the best material, which is probably, which is my preferred, which is also porcelain. Um, it doesn't really matter too much, it's just the palette. I don't use this often. Let's just put that away. And the paints I use are Emgram, which I have the most of. I also have the Da Vinci paints, which are not my favorite, but they are pretty pigmented and they work pretty well as well. And then I have one tube of Windsor Newton. And the reason why I only have one is because this one is so expensive and I just, couldn't spend more money on these ones. A five milliliter tube, I believe. This one, since it's series three, I think this one was like $15 for this. I mean, I guess it's not that bad since I bought it like three years ago and I still have it, so. But yeah, these are my paints. And onto the brushes, which I use. I have a variety of different brushes, but I mainly only stick to a few main ones. Recently, I just picked up this new brand. They're a mixture of synthetic and sable by Robert Simmons. When I ordered it online, they said it was Dale or Brownie or something like that. I'm not too sure if they're the same brand. But yeah, I picked these ones up a couple days ago. They're pretty good. They have like a nice spring, which is good for getting detail, doing a painting. And I also have my second favorite brush, which are the silver black velvet brushes, which are also pretty good. They don't have as much of a spring, but they hold up a lot of pigment and water. Which brings me to my next topic, which is water. So I usually use two different water jars, one for washing out my brushes and the other one for getting fresh water. So you do watercolor and it's good to have two different ones. I just used a jam bottle, uh, Smoker's Jam, not sponsored. But yeah, those were just a decent size, so I just recycle those into water jars for my painting. I also have this spray bottle as well, which I just use for wetting paints. And that is pretty much my supplies. Now on to the actual painting. So let's get started. So to begin my art process, I usually start off with a pencil sketch when I'm doing portraits. So as you can see, I've sketched out the portrait with pencil, and then I will move on to the next step, which is applying the first wash. So for the first wash, I mix the two colors, alizarin crimson, as well as cadmium yellow deep, to get a nice reddish orange color, then I diluted it with water. After the first wash is complete, I let it dry completely. Then I'll move on to adding more values as well as shadows and textures. Joy and 
The final step for my painting is to add more detail and build more values. And when that's complete, I take a step back and look to see if I need to add anything else. I'm in love with and if you guys are interested in supporting my art, I'll leave the links to my art Instagram as well as my online art shop in the description. So check those out. <laughs> The final step is to scan the image after it's done being painted and then I can bring it into Photoshop to do any last minute corrections so that the painting is ready to post online. And that is my process. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment. And for more content, please subscribe because I'll be posting every two weeks. And see you guys soon in the next video. Bye. No, I didn't put in my glasses, did I? Whatever now. You're gonna have to figure it out. Oh, that's that's tricky. God, why am I rolling over a painting? On the main one that needs to be in a frame is this one, because that's the one I need to paint. True, that is the one that needs to be in frame.